Tere, Muna Nimion, Howie Fitzmaurice, and welcome to the Estonian Cricket Weekly. Last weekend was our second last T20 round and our last high 40 round before finals. In our T20 games, we had the Riders defeat the Vikings. Vikings uh, 108, the Riders 110. Um, man of the match was Kush Brabant with 3 for 11. Best for the Vikings was Rupam Burra with 34. The Rising Stars defeated the Hippos. Uh, Hippos managed 97 all out. And the Rising Stars got 98 uh, for the loss of three wickets, with MD Shoab the man of the match there, with two for 26 and 10 runs. Best for the Hippos was Parker with two wickets and six runs. Strikers defeated the Stallions. Strikers put uh, 156 on the board for the loss of uh, three wickets. Uh, man of the match, Arslan Armjad, 75 of 45 and one for 14. But the Stallions could only manage 138 for the loss of five. Zishan Ali with 50 for 39 there. Tartu Cricket Club defeated the Wolves. Well, Tartu, 82 runs, the Wolves, 81 runs, but the 81 was at the loss of seven wickets. Tartu did it with the loss of one, so well done there. <laughs> Aditya Savio, uh, 24, not out, off 20, was the man of the match, and one, yeah, and one for 11. And Furquan Manzur, with 23 off 26, was the best for the Wolves. In our high 40-40 results, United defeated the Hippos. Uh, the Hippos managed 178 all out. Marco Vaik, the best there with 58 off 80. And man of the match was Anurag Singh, where United made 179 for loss of six wickets. Anurag got two for 22 and 15 not out. Tartu Cricket Club defeated the Tigers, and it was the Tigers setting, uh, it was 128, the loss of eight wickets. They did only play with uh, nine. And it was Aditya for them, 25 runs and one wicket. He was their best. But Tartu, they managed 130 for the loss of only one wicket. And the man of the match was Simon with four for 22. Our national team had some tough results at the World Cup qualifiers in Finland, but have grown immensely uh, from the experience. Uh, there were many positives uh, from the tournament. So let's look back on the 10 days as they happened. We all headed to our first training together in Finland. Excitement was high as we had watched the previous matches a couple of weeks earlier. We had to change our training venue because the Switzerland team arrived the night before with uh, some issues with their luggage. So we ended up playing at the backup ground. Everyone had a bat and a bowl and excitement was high. We we're really looking forward to the coming four games against a couple of the unknown teams like Norway, Czech Republic, France and Switzerland. We hadn't played them before previously and we're really excited to see what the next couple of days brought.
So heading into the first match against Norway, we arrived at the Kerava ground nice and early. Everyone was excited. We did a huge warm up and everything, everyone was pumped and ready to go. No one knew much about Norway, but on the other hand, no one knew too much about us either. We had high hopes and we're looking forward to playing against a team we hadn't played against before. Arsenal won the toss and we chose the bat first. We went in with visions of getting 140, 150 runs. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out that way. Only Ali Masood was able to really trouble the scorers with a good score of 44. Unfortunately, the rest of the batters couldn't match Ali's score and we struggled to get to a total of about 101. And we all felt that that was a little bit short. But on the other hand, we didn't really know what Norway had. So we went into defending the total with our eyes wide open. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. The Norway batting was exceptionally strong and they chased down the total with about 10 overs to spare. Uh, it was a little bit um, disappointing that we got beaten by 10 wickets in, in the first game we played, but it also showed us that the step up for international cricket from domestic was a big one, and we had to regroup ourselves pretty fast for our next match that was coming up. We had a team meeting that night, and we decided that although the following day was our rest day, that we should hit the nets and regroup to make sure that we can focus on the remaining three matches. We went for a two hour training session at Tikarilla where we went through some drills and hopefully we'd iron out some deficiencies that we saw on day one against Norway. Norway had a couple of spinners and we failed to really progress the run rate against them so we spent a lot of time on playing against spin drills, playing down straight and playing in the V. On July 27, Estonia came up against Switzerland. This time we had a special guest within the ranks. Mr. Brett Lee had come across from Australia to watch us play again. In the morning, Brett helped us with some drills along with Coxie, our coach, and we were fully pumped, ready to go. We lost the toss, so we got put into bowl, and Switzerland started off at a rel relatively slow rate, and we thought we were in with a pretty decent shot. Unfortunately though, we dropped the opener a couple of times, and he went on to score a big hundred. At about the 15 over mark, we were well on target, but they kicked away the last five overs so they ended up scoring about 70, 80 runs. Switzerland ended up bumping their total to 173 for four, and we figured that was about 30 or 40 runs more than what you should have got them. However, against uh, Finland earlier in June, we nearly chased down the big target, so we had high hopes and we went out in attacking form formation to try to chase this target down. Things didn't go too well as we lost three wickets for two runs and Stu Hook and Ali Masood were left there to try to rebuild the innings to see what we could do with some sort of miracle. The positive thing to come out of that innings, that was the last wickets that were lost and Stu and Ali ended up taking the score from three for two to three for 142. It was a 140 run partnership, an unbeaten partnership. It was the third highest fourth wicket partnership in T20 international cricket and it was a bit of a highlight to the day on top of having Brett Lee around and all of a sudden we thought our fortunes had turned and our eyes then moved forward to our next game versus the Czech Republic on July 28th. As we come into our third match on July 28th against the Czech Republic, both teams had yet to score a victory and both teams had iron off each other as the first victory of the tournament. Czech Republic batted first and got off to a steady start without setting the world on fire. In the middle order, there's a young fella who's got a million miles an hour, but we ended up getting him out before he cost us too many runs. Habib Khan, four for 16, was the star with the bowling. Czech Republic ended up being bowled out for 135 and we thought we were in with a real shot to chase this down. Our first 10 overs were not as fast as what we would have liked and we were forever behind the eight ball then. We ended up getting bowled out for 93, including uh, a hat-trick against us. 
We fell about 40 runs short, which is a little bit disappointing, but like the other games, we felt like we were in this match with a chance to win, but we just were not able to come across and get the victory by the end of the match. Our last match was against France. France ended up hitting seven for 183. In that innings, we managed to take five wickets in the one over, which was a great comeback, and Habib himself got himself a hat-trick. Well done, Habib. In the chase, there was two rain delays, and we ended up falling 25 runs short, which was a pretty good result, as the match could have been a wipeout. Estonia ended up losing all four matches, but once again, in each of the matches, we're in with a real shot to win, and moving forward, we think we can grab our first victory very soon. As we didn't win a, a match, we weren't involved in the finals day. So the team got together during the afternoon, did a few photo shoots, did a bit of debriefing, and we were headed to the tournament dinner to meet up with the other teams. Congratulations to the teams that won in the finals and all the best for your future cricketing endeavors, and we hope to cross paths at some stage soon. This weekend, teams from Latvia and Lithuania travel to Tallinn to take part in the 2022 High Baltic Cup. On Saturday the 13th at 11am, Estonia take on Lithuania and Latvia take on Estonia A. At 3pm, Estonia, they take on Estonia A and Latvia play Lithuania. On Sunday the 14th at 11am, Lithuania take on Estonia A and Latvia play Estonia. The team with the most points will win this year's High Baltic Cup. So if you're in Tallinn, come down to Tiskra and come see some live international cricket. If you cannot make it down, all the matches will be streamed live on YouTube. A big thank you to our sponsors, Sportsbet.io, Bluff VPN, Nordcom Batoon, HML Project Management and High.com. Thank you.